hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are going to look at how to create this ui and then download images from urls asynchronous using swift ui's new view called async image now before we jump into the video please give this video a like it really means a lot to me and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you stay notified every time i upload a new video so without any further ado let's jump into the video okay so this is an old project that i created in my previous video by the way if you haven't checked that out i will link it at the top right of this video in that video we created a custom tab bar and I had only created this home page. I am going to write my new code on file view. Currently it has nothing in it. And also let me open up a canvas so we can see the changes along the way. Right. So first I am adding a scroll view, then a V stack and then a S stack. And inside the S stack, we, uh, we will add a text and a button to create our uh, header section. The button on the right is going to have a circle view and then an image on top and uh, to overlap both we, uh, we will add a Z stack. Now I already have the assets in my project and if you want the same images and colors uh, you can download them from my github repo. The link will be in the description Now let's run the app and let's see how it is looking so far. So our header is looking good But let's add some padding so it doesn't stick to the edges Now let's move on to the next section that is the profile information for that I'm using a S tag and inside that we have one image on the left then a V stack then two text views then another S tag uh, at the bottom to show our followers and followings and at the right uh, button to edit uh, our profile. After this, we need to show the bio section. Uh, this is very easy as it is just a VSEC and then two text views. Uh, though for its foreground, uh, I am using a different way as I want them to be of a different opacity of blacks. And as you can see, uh, our user profile section is complete and looking crisp. So now let's move on to uh, the next step to add a grid view. So in the UI, there are two buttons. Uh, it's very easy to do just an edge stack um, and two buttons with some styling.
Now for the grid, I am using Lazy V Grid and uh, need, it needs three things. Uh, how the columns should work, spacing between the columns or row, um, and then the content. For columns, I have created a variable which is an array of uh, grid items. And each grid item is uh, flexible. I have added two grid items, which means there are two columns. Now I already have the images name from one to four. So I'm using uh, for each loop to loop from one to four. Now, obviously the images aren't responsive. So we have to make them resizable. And then I am using uh, aspect ratio so that the height of the images will be according to its width. And if I run the app, it should show us the grid with different images. And now uh, is the important work that is to show the images that are coming from either API or different server. And we need to download them in our cache asynchronously. So first let's get rid of uh, the static image and replace it with the async image view. And it needs a URL of the image. Now, the problem with this view is that uh, it doesn't know what the image is or if it is 100% going to receive uh, retrieve the image or not. So this resizable can not work in this scenario. If we remove resizable and run the app, you can see it is showing the image, but it's all stretched out. And before it loads, it shows a gray color and we want to show a loader in the middle before it downloads the image image. So we have to change the async image view and add a curly bracket at the end and then write image in. And now with this image variable, we can resize the image. So let's add resizable and scale to fill below it. And to show the activity indicator, uh, we can add placeholder and uh, inside this we can add progress view. Now if we run the app, you can see while the image is being downloaded, it shows a progress view and then the image. Great. But now let's go one step further with this. If I change the URL, the image will not uh, be downloaded and the progress bar will co uh, constantly be on the screen. And what we want is if the URL, URL is incorrect, it should uh, show image not available. So first things first, I'm changing the variable name uh, to remote and then add a condition that let, uh, if flat image is equal to remote, dot image then show the image else if the remote variable throws an error then show image not available otherwise just show the loader and because we are showing the progress view inside the if else then we don't need the placeholders so let's remove that as well now if i run the app it will work the way it did before but when I change the URL, it should show me image not available. So there you have it. It's a simple implementation on how to download images asynchronous from API or any other server. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.